Hello, here our third video which implements the Ethernet communication between the LilyGo TTGo PoE power over internet board with ESP32 processor in the ESP IDF5 environment and via Ethernet connection it amplifies the ping in order to check that this is working properly. Because uh, to implement such a thing we need a properly working hardware and properly working software, two additional previous videos were made. In the first video we checked that our hardware is working good, working properly. And in the second video we check the ping command and uh, verified that the ping command is implemented in the right way. Uh, the Ethernet implementation is a little more difficult and requires additional actions, so I will demonstrate a little bit more deeply in order to see all the uh, small things that can uh, influence uh, the implementation. Going over the documentation, inside the expressive site we have a pretty pretty vast uh, Ethernet explanation regarding the implementation of Ethernet in the ESP32. Uh, it's not easy to understand, at least for me. It took some time. And um, it also have a cut co code snippets which I used in the in the program. But still, writing it by yourself it can be quite a challenge. The interesting thing that I want to show you here, we, we went over the text, written text with the code, snip, code snippets, but here firstly you have to decide if you are working in so-called RMI configuration, I will show it to you a little bit, uh, um, an RMI configuration, just one moment. Um, here, yeah. He, here is an R RMI configuration. And here the SPI Ethernet configuration. So you have to decide whether your ESP32 is connected via the RMI or SPI, because uh, the chip doesn't have an Ethernet uh, port or so on. So it in some way have to communicate via additional hardware device with additional chip to the Ethernet uh, communication. And the question is how it can communicate. We are working with the RMI data, like this, here, this one. And also it has a SPI implementation, which we didn't use. Additional, additional thing is a site that I found, this one, that have a pretty interesting and pretty simplified implementation regarding our li Lily TTGO PoE board with the LAN A270A uh, device which is used to trans trans transfer the data from the chip to the Ethernet uh, protocol. So the interesting thing here, and you are invited to read it, it's very good, is this thing, you see, and after this here, he writes here that the, the Ethernet clock is implemented in the pin number 17. We will see it in the future that this is a pretty important uh, definition for the clock definition of the Ethernet. Without uh, this 
the, this uh, uh, definition it uh, won't work. In order to implement uh, the example, we are going to the Sims IoT devices repositories in our standard repository with the ESPIDF5 Lily TT Go POE board. And here we are going to talk about third Ethernet implementation, this one. Previously, we explained uh, with the, our first video how we can check the hardware with the Wi-Fi and POST uh, command. Uh, in the second video, we use the same Wi-Fi implementation uh, and the ping commands and explained what are the ping commands. And uh, we didn't use or didn't copy at least the SD config files. They are here for reference. Here we have an updated SD config file and here the Ethernet implementation with the my data file. So uh, I want to show you how we can do it. So I will copy all this file. Yeah. And inside our editor we will paste it. Previously, I compiled this program and basically created the basic uh, ESP IDF 5 project. And it is also compiled, so you can see the standard SDK file, which is fit for my computer, and the standard project with my data file, which I copied previously, with the credentials. So I'm now working on the file proj. 231 and I'm pasting the code. Okay, here is the code. We'll save it. And also we will open it's the config. And here is the tricky part. And you see, let's find Ethernet. Here. Here you see the Ethernet part. And as we talked previously, we are working with RMI clock. So in this configuration, we will write the, that we are using the RMI clock. Yes. And save the file as an output. Now, Let's run, compile the project and look on the SD config file and the interesting thing that this file will be updated by the compiler. That's right. Okay, we begin the execution because the SD config file was changed. Now you see the changes? Uh, we the project is recompiled. The thing is, this is the line that we have changed. We just put the output, uh, the RMI uh, clock output, yes. So the GPIO, GPIO zero output is uh, commented. The clock input is commented automatically by the compiler and notice that uh, RMI clock GPIO defined as 17. This is the same uh, GPIO 17 which was mentioned in the previous site uh, for the clock uh, synchronization. The functionality that we expect from this file is to successfully connect to the Ethernet uh, successfully connect via Ethernet communication to the Internet and uh, receive a valid IP for the communication. After the Ethernet uh, establishment of the Ethernet communication, a performance of the ping, ping to the Google side in order to understand that the Ethernet uh, connection is uh, working properly. So the a project was recompiled. Recompiled. Now it's connecting to the ESP. 
uh, we are writing our code to the ESP in this stage okay so you see that the Ethernet is connected he got the MAC address and he got the Ethernet IP also the uh, the ping command was performed and we have successful ping to the Google site 888 which uh, lasted for uh, four or three uh, milliseconds okay uh, let's go to the uh, code uh, we can see it on the background okay uh, the code is as following now we have the standard includes which we didn't change from our previous videos we define our tag as the Ethernet and those two commands is the ping commands from the previous video and they are working properly which we proved in the previous video and it's also working properly now uh, here we have a, an ev event handler for the Ethernet which uh, writes here for every stage you see Ethernet our tag Ethernet link uh, up here enter Ethernet started and so on and so we can see each stage of the Ethernet connection so we can debug and understand our connection and here he is printing the MAC address this one the MAC address we also have the uh, IP handler in the IP handler we can print the IP which was given to us this one we have the same tag and those are the result of the IP handler and here is the actual communication of the uh, PoE power over internet board and here we define our Ethernet uh, protocol which, uh, which we are using those code snippets are taken from here and you can uh, look over it those and so on uh, data and um, also uh, uh, we used uh, use it as simple as possible please note that the pin numbers for GPIO, MDC M and MDIO are hard-coded in order not uh, to go to some config file to look for the pin numbers also here the address and the reset, GP reset uh, GPIO are also hard-coded uh, with accordance to the requirements of the board uh, after it the original documentation have a small mistake you see here uh, here uh, SPI is not relevant for us here we have the handler and here, here we have the IP handler but at the end oh they 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 corrected it okay it's st start handler okay so it's okay my mistake sorry uh, this uh, previously in the uh, some time ago the start wasn't added to the original documentation but now it's working properly uh, okay anyway Ethernet connection PoE is the Ethernet connection uh, function which with the GPIOs hard coded inside and also we are using the LAN 8720 uh, transmitter uh, the physical layer so this one is used because this is a chip that we have in our board so it's very simplified uh, uh, version I say uh, very simplified we, we didn't remove the Wi-Fi handler and Wi-Fi connection and the reason is that if for some reason the Ethernet connection is not working you still before doing the CMD the ping the CM, ping CMD performing the ping can connect with Wi-Fi to see that it's working properly and go back to the Ethernet communication Anyway, Ethernet communication worked uh, good, 
we see the result here and in this video we covered the changes that have to be made in SD config file and the relevant code for performing Ethernet communication for the Lily Top uh, DT Go PoE board. Thank you.